Hi everyone, it's IK from IK Renders here and in this video next for SketchUp tutorial, I'm going to show you the best and quickest ways to apply reflections to your materials. Alright, so we are back into the SketchUp space. So right here in front of you now, you have these two rectangular volumes. I just easily push pull them up and they are going to be serving as our test dummies for this reflection tutorial. One of the rectangular masses is going to have a, ma a wooden material with a reflective filter and the other is going to be plain with just the plain wooden material look the amount that I fuse so opening my asset editor right now as you can see I have this dark wood and dark wood with reflection map so this is basically a wooden material and it's a generic material but I put in this wooden texture in here if you want to learn how i did this click on the top left corner of the screen click on the card to watch my best ways to apply materials video and i also have the second material it's a duplicate actually but this one has a reflection map i haven't put the map yet but i enable reflections for this i'll show you how we got here with this All right from this right here in the reflection rollout, we have reflection color and reflection glossiness, Fresno and reflection IOR. So, this reflection color, as the name suggests, it specifies the color of the reflection. And right now it's on black, and here it says black disables the reflection layer. But in this duplicate material, we set this to white, and you can see we are able to see reflections are white now it is white and it's white to the fact that it simply mirrors what you see in a white color white space so if we change this to something red you can see the reflection color is red anything white or light hitting the material it turns red if we change this to a blue Dark shade of blue. Yeah, it gets a bit, yes, it gets a bit blue. But we take that back to white to default. Okay. And if, if you're thinking about how I got to from this normal generic V ray preview to this, I simply clicked on the top, these three bars right here, and I went down to floor. There's fabric, you want to preview fabric materials, ground materials, wall, wall close-up, subsurface, saskatchewan or simply floor and that's what we are using here alright so as for reflection glossiness this controls the sharpness of reflections the value of one means perfect mirror light reflection so that means if we bring the value down our reflections become more blurry and let's take it to 0.6 yes now this looks more reminiscent of tabletop wood like our dining tables and chairs but this is not what we are going for in this video we are going to use a reflection map okay let's take that back to one right now reflection map is basically a map made in correlation with a diffuse map the diffuse map right here which specifies the highlights and shadows of a reflective filter on the material. Most reflective reflection maps you have, they are all black and white. For example, this, this is the reflective map we are going to use for this video. As you can see, it's black and white. Now, the white parts of this uh, show us where the highlights are going to be and the darker part show us where the shadows are going to be which makes the material more reminiscent to the real life counterpart so we're uh, just simply going to drop this not in the color if we put it in the color space let's see what happens when we put this in the color space okay, can do that here. Uh, put this in the color now where the color 
it was supposed to be that texture has replaced it so that's what happened right here as you can see it's in here but now what we're going to do now we're going to move this down to the grossness not going to paste it i'm going to clear this all right now as you can see our reflection grossness is still one but this map has made some changes to this if we open this right here you can see we have this color space now this color space is simply for example in your in photoshop and adobe softwares just like blending modes now so if we make this ranging space vv has a way of calculating it so it will suit the material better and soften it up as you can see now we're able to see the material and the map working together better all right that's that's really cool now if you want to lower the strength of this you just simply gradually bring down this color and you'll be reducing the strength of this reflective material here so let's take it back up i think just a little bit yeah this seems to be all right okay let's apply them to our pieces of wood here first off the one without the reflective map i simply select the object i want select the material apply the selection select the object i want the material right click apply the selection all right so that's basically it now let's pick our scene and let's see the interactive render no let's render this Now you may be thinking why it isn't rendering my material override is on so i'll simply deselect that and we start the render so it is finished had to reduce the quality of the render because when working with PVR materials, depending on your specs of your system, they tend to slow it down. So, even from this view, you can see how plain and blank this one looks. And this one has this one has a bit of gloss to it. Yeah, this is what we want. This is what we want. Yes, but let's let's go in close. Let's go in close. We're going with this other scene so let's pump up the clarity or the resolution okay 800 by 800 let's make this thousand by thousand so we'll be able to see the details much better okay that's done um we can have a better look at these two materials i mean it's clearly visible there are differences this is a bit less reflective obviously and this one has a certain sheen to it like a tabletop a dining tabletop office tabletop like normal wood you see it's not as strong as that we see in cars that's the reason why we had this reflective map it glides through the setting diffuse map and then maps it based on different highlights and shadows that'll be all for this tutorial thank you guys so much for watching do leave a like if you found this video helpful and do share with a friend or a group of people who you think will also find this video really helpful and also stay tuned to more videos coming up by subscribing to my channel and also follow me on my social media pages to be more up to date on more content coming up thank you and god bless